now we shall discuss about uh, index numbers uh, the averages uh, we studied and uh, measures of central tendencies uh, are used to find a uh, single representative or uh, the value of a distribution and uh, in the next chapter uh, that is uh, measures of dispersion uh, we studied the average of uh, dispersion of uh, a scatteredness of from the central value and here uh, we have to deal with uh, the average changes uh, uh, in a group of related variables uh, that may relate to uh, periods of time or between places generally uh, the changes are studied in respect of time rather than place so if uh, we possess uh, rupees 10 uh, so we can purchase uh, goods or services uh, worth rupees 10 but it is uh, not always the same because the purchasing power of money that is a uh, value of money uh, changes uh, from uh, one period to another period so sometimes money has greater purchasing power or lesser purchasing power at uh, different periods so uh, the uh, changes of money value cannot be measured directly but uh, it uh, depends upon the price so index number is a uh, number index number uh, uh, is a number which is uh, uh, designed which is used to uh, measure the level of uh, certain phenomenon uh, as compared to the level of uh, the same uh, phenomenon at uh, some standard period so here index number uh, index number is a number which is used to measure the level of certain phenomenon as compared to the level of same phenomenon at some standard period and uh, uh, so when the you know uh, level of certain uh, phenomenon as compared to level of uh, the same phenomenon at, at some standard period so on the standard period uh, level of certain phenomenon uh, as compared to level of uh, same phenomenon means what uh, the price level changes uh, of one period to another period uh, and uh, a group of uh, uh, you know the average uh, the changes in a uh, group or uh, average changes in a group of uh, related variables that may relate to the periods of uh, time or between the place means what uh, you know when the group of related variables means uh, uh, related variables uh, you know change akta hogute average agi change akta kantadna now one period in the inondu period ge athwa one the time in the inondu time ge athwa uh, between uh, places one place in the inondu places ge average agi change akta kanta one price level now uh, one measure price level change akta kantadna now find out madodike measure madodike now index number anta now karitivi so an index number is a number which is used to measure the level of certain phenomenon as compared to the level of same phenomenon at some standard price so therefore index numbers are specialized averages so these are called as the specialized averages uh, and which are used uh, to study changes in the prices of uh, different commodities uh, and uh, represent the same in a single figure so different commodities so are different bare bare commodity uh, commodities that were bare bare on the variables you know uh, change at the uh, uh, prices price level uh, uh, changes in price level of uh, different commodities and uh, measure model the game so uh, means uh, different commodities uh, take for example uh, rice, uh, wheat, uh, ragi, jowar, uh, uh, you know, commodities are there, other fruits, other uh, uh, bere, uh, uh, dinsi, uh, e, e commodities in uh, price level change akta wogute are uh, different commodities, uh, mati one period in the inund period yakuda, uh, commodities, uh, uh, price level change akta kantadna, now find out model the kathu, measure model the now index number anna now uh, balastivi 
and index number is called as you know specialized average and now carry TV and these uh, index numbers which represent the same in a single figure on the single figure again represent model there and index number uh, 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 index numbers are expressed in percentages and these numbers which are expressed in terms of percentages and these uh, index numbers uh, uh, gave, uh, gave the uh, comparative picture of uh, two period uh, uh, relation to the relation to its uh, changes so uh, comparative picture of two period uh, relation to its uh, changes in changes are one period to another period uh, comparative picture and uh, index numbers and it measures relative uh, uh, changes in the level of certain uh, the phenomenon even though certain phenomenon ge, uh, 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 ge, price level change measure index number so as index number is a, uh, uh, a statistical device so it is a statistical device for comparing uh, the general level of uh, magnitude of a group of uh, related uh, the variables in uh, two or more situations and uh, so in simple uh, index numbers are designed uh, to measure uh, changes in a group of uh, related variables over a period of uh, time so these numbers which are designed uh, uh, and uh, 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 to measure the changes in the period in the group of changes in a group of uh, related variables over a period of time uh, on the period of uh, time only and that means uh, one uh, one year to another year so from one period to another period uh, a uh, group of related variables uh, uh, commodities uh, uh, price level in uh, change agirate aduna measure martakantadna now index numbers and these index numbers are designed to measure the changes in a group of related variables over a period of a time and uh, index numbers are used uh, to feel the pulse of the economy so these index numbers which are used to feel the pulse of the economy so these numbers which are used to indicate the pulse uh, the economy means what uh, uh, these uh, uh, numbers which came to be used as indicators indicators of inflationary or deflationary condition when the inflationary uh, prices price level change uh, you know uh, inf, uh, price level uh, price level decrease uh, the economic condition uh, 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 now index num, uh, numbers and now index numbers and now and these index numbers which act as uh, which indicates uh, the inflationary or deflationary condition so that uh, these index numbers are called as the uh, barometers of economic activity barometers of economic activity and now so index numbers are called as barometers of economic activity because because these index numbers which uh, indicate uh, the inflationary or deflationary condition uh, of the situations and here uh, uh, we want one figure uh, to indicate uh, the changes of uh, different commodities as a whole this is called an index number so if, if, if we want one figure one figure to indicate uh, uh, that the changes of different commodities as a whole so that uh, one figure is called as uh, uh, index number so number is a, a number which indicates the changes in magnitude so therefore uh, uh, here uh, uh, one of the author uh, defines uh, uh, am turtle uh, says that uh, index number is a single ratio which measure the combined combined uh, change of several variables between two different uh, times places of situations so according to him uh, index number uh, refers to index num uh, index number is a single ratio 
index number is a number or it is a single figure or it is a single ratio that represents uh, the combined uh, change of combined change of or group of related variables or combined the change of uh, several variables in between two different times or two different periods uh, or the places of situations is called as uh, index number so the index number antandre idu one number athwa one single ratio athwa one figure agiddo which measures namge adu namge tiliskodutte which measures the combined or group of uh, the related variables or several variables between two periods or two different times or two different uh, the places of the situations is called as uh, uh, index number yeradu one situations alli athwa two different one times alli one group of uh, commodities or group of uh, variables yeradu athwa eradakinte hechu variables gala athwa commodities gala athwa things gala one price level anna uh, namge increase athwa decrease a uh, one level anna eno uh, uh, changes agirutte a uh, changing level anna namge tilisi kodtakkantadna now uh, index number and then now so uh, so now uh, uses of uh, uh, the first index uh, constructed in 19 uh, 1764 to compare uh, to compare the Italian uh, the price index of 1750 and with the price level of uh, 1500 uh, now uh, now come to the uses of index numbers uh, here inde index numbers are very useful to the businessmen or uh, or the economists uh, because of framing the various policies for the development of uh, uh, the company or the organization and even the government can also use uh, such a type of index number for the purpose of uh, framing the various policies uh, uh, like uh, fiscal policy monetary policy and uh, and taking the various uh, decisions for the economic uh, the development of economy so therefore these index numbers are very much useful to uh, the businessmen uh, and uh, index numbers are particularly useful uh, in uh, measuring relative changes measuring relative changes in one period to another period one the time in the in one the time ge, uh, price level in change agirute to change agute aduna measure model the ke now particular agi index numbers and now balas tv and these index numbers are particularly useful in measuring relative changes and they give a better idea of uh, changes in level of prices production uh, business activity employment uh, and etc uh, therefore these index uh, numbers are very much essential to uh, all the departments uh, and even uh, it is very much essential and uh, it is to be used uh, um, extensively by the <coughs> the businessmen and economists <coughs> and uh, index numbers uh, index numbers reduce the changes of price level into uh, uh, more useful and understandable forum and uh, uh, further uh, these index numbers uh, are reduced to percentages which are easily comparable and these index numbers are you and uh, index numbers are used for comparing the price level the situations of one time to another that time so uh, consumer index number price index number so consumer price index number uh, measures changes in the cost of living so it measures it uh, gives us an idea about the uh, uh, idea about uh, the cost of uh, living uh, due to changes in the retail prices of a basket of goods over a period of time and uh, a separate cost of living index is prepared uh, for different classes of people and it is also known as cost of living index numbers or retail price index number and here 
consumer price index number or consumer price index as an inverse relation with the purchasing power of the money and uh, index numbers uh, are helpful to uh, measure the purchasing power of the money or the purchasing the capacity of uh, a uh, capacity of uh, the people uh, to purchase the various uh, the things or the commodities in the market and uh, and it and it uh, increases uh, the purchasing the capacity of uh, different uh, types of the people uh, in the uh, society and it increases purchasing power of uh, money as uh, uh, cost uh, as uh, consumer price index uh, increases uh, the purchasing power of money uh, decreases and uh, and uh, uh, and index numbers uh, uh, helps to uh, wage negotiations uh, so consumer price index uh, helps in uh, determining uh, wages for a particular class this what uh, this is another the important uh, thing in which uh, index number uh, is uh, useful to uh, the car uh, useful to the businessman or uh, or uh, uh, to uh, to or uh, the in uh, corporate sectors because to because uh, to determine because to uh, to determine uh, the wages uh, uh, to uh, and to fix uh, different wages uh, for a um, uh, different uh, the classes of the workers and uh, it provides the basis for uh, wage negotiations between workers and employers in uh, in business organizations uh, this is another the important uh, the aspect of uh, index numbers and it helps to uh, helps uh, of to government in framing the policies uh, this is another the major the important aspect in which index numbers uh, provide the guidelines for the formulation of wage policy uh, price policy taxation policy and other general the economic policies uh, and market analysis uh, consumer price index also helps uh, a market analyst uh, to uh, determine uh, the demand for uh, different goods and services so it uh, measures and it uh, it uses to uh, determine uh, the demand for different commodities or demand for different goods and services and uh, uh, it helps to businessmen in forecasting this is another uh, useful uh, useful to the businessmen from uh, index numbers uh, and on the basis of consumer price index of uh, different classes of people a businessman can make predictions about uh, demand for his uh, the products so therefore uh, uh, these are very much uh, uh, useful to uh, and essential to the businessman uh, even uh, um, uh, it uh, uses to uh, uh, all uh, the type of uh, the people who are in, who are living in uh, who are living and who are having uh, the purchasing the power and the capacity uh, to purchase the various the products or commodities in the market and it uh, and uh, businessmen economists and government uh, uh, they 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 are using uh, index numbers extensively because of framing uh, various policies and uh, and to take the various decisions for the, for fixation of the wages and to know uh, the purchasing the power of uh, purchasing power of uh, different uh, the classes of people and now methods of constructing index number so they may be uh, categorized into two uh, broad groups as given below uh, index numbers may be categorized into two they are unweighted ind indices or index numbers and weighted index numbers or indices and uh, again uh, uh, there are uh, 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 different uh, the categories of uh, uh, unweighted index number they are simple aggregative method and simple uh, average of price relative method and uh, uh, there are uh, several the 
categories of uh, weighted index number they are uh, Laspier's method, Pasteur's method, Fisher's method and uh, Marshall Edgeworth's method uh, and Dorbish Bowle method, Kelly's method these are the various uh, the categories of both uh, uh, unweighted and weighted index number now uh, now uh, the formula and its uh, use in constructing each category of category of the indices or index numbers uh, 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 listed uh, uh, above or discussed in the certain uh, in the following sections uh, and let us first acquaint uh, ourselves with the symbols used in construction of index numbers. Uh, so P0 denotes price per unit of a commodity in the base period. So here 0 indicates that the base year and 1 indicates that the current year. So P1 denotes price per unit of the same commodity in the current period and similar uh, the measurements are assigned here Q0 quantity for the uh, base year, Q1 quantity for the current year and value or volume for the uh, base year and volume or the value for the current year so 0 indicates base year 1 indicates the current year so the capital letters P Q and V are used for denoting price index quantity index uh, and uh, the value index the numbers value v means the value index numbers respectively and therefore p01 refers to price index for period 1 and p0 with respect to base period base year uh, price and uh, similar uh, meanings were uh, assigned to the quantity and value uh, indices uh, and here unweighted index numbers so unweighted uh, unweighted index number this is uh, the first type of uh, the index number and uh, this type of indices are also referred to as simple index numbers and in this method of constructing uh, indices the weights are uh, not expressly assigned uh, and these are further classified under two categories uh, one is uh, simple aggregative uh, index will now weights and assign madodilla but price matra to uh, that's why it is called as unweighted index number and this type of indices are also referred to as simple uh, index numbers and here uh, uh, these are further classified under two categories one is simple aggregative index and simple average of relative index so let us study the construction of indices under these two heads. Now the first category of uh, unweighted index number is that simple aggregative index. So simple aggregative index this is the simplest and the least satisfactory method of constructing indices and, uh, and in case of uh, price indices uh, uh, through uh, this method the total of uh, unit cost of each commodity in the current year is uh, each commodity in the current year is divided by the total of unit cost of the same commodity means uh, uh, sim simple aggregative index this is the uh, this is the first uh, the category of uh, unweighted index number and this is the simplest and uh, least satisfactory method of constructing uh, indices or index uh, and the formula to calculate uh, simple uh, uh, index numbers and their simple aggregative method uh, uh, is that P01 price index for the current year is equal to sigma P1 B divided by sigma P0 into 100 the sum of current year prices divided by the sum of base year prices and multiplied by 100 now similarly the quantity index may be expressed as q01 is equal to sigma q1 divided by sigma q0 into 100 
and simple average of price relative method this is the second uh, the category of unweighted index number and this is uh, this is also a simplest uh, the method of constructing index numbers uh, and the formula to uh, calculate index numbers under this uh, the category is uh, uh, is that uh, p01 is equal to sigma p by n where p stands for uh, p can be uh, known as uh, p1 by p0 p means what uh, price relatives so that price relative can be calculated as p1 by p0 into 100 now q01 is equal to sigma q by n where q can can also be uh, computed as q1 current year uh, quantity divided by base year quantity into 100 now weighted index numbers so weighted index numbers uh, this is uh, another the second uh, the classification of uh, the index numbers and uh, uh, and uh, uh, here uh, uh, in the earlier two methods each item received equal weight or importance in the construction of an index whereas a uh, uh, weighted index the methods so here uh, weights are expressly assigned to each item which is included in an index the construction now the uh, weighted index uh, uh, weighted index numbers are uh, categorized into uh, two types one is uh, weighted aggregative uh, index and weighted average of relatives index now weighted aggregates index uh, in this uh, group we shall study three specific methods commonly used in business research they are laspier's method pasteur's method and fisher's index now laspier's method in this method uh, the weights are assigned to each commodity or the quantities consumed in the base year for price indices so the formula to calculate uh, Laspier's index is equal to P01 is equal to sigma P1Q0 divided by sigma P0Q0. Current year price, uh, base year quantity divided by base year price and base year quantity. Now Pasteur's index, uh, this is uh, another uh, the classification of weighted index number and uh, in this method uh, quantities uh, consumed in the current year are used as weights in the construction of the price indices and the formula to calculate uh, passes index method is p01 is equal to sigma p1 q1 divided by sigma p0 q1 into 100 current year price into current year quantity divided by base year price into current year quantity and multiplied by 100 now fisher's uh, ideal index so this is the most important uh, the classification of index weighted index number and uh, this the method is uh, uh, means uh, uh, this method was introduced by uh, irving fisher uh, and he uses uh, uh, Irving Fisher used a geometric mean of the Laspier's and Pasteur's indices to overcome the shortcoming of uh, both. Uh, therefore, uh, the Fisher's index method. This is the most uh, another the the most important uh, the method of uh, weighted index number. And this method was introduced by uh, Irving Fisher. So therefore, this method is to be uh, used for measuring the index number and the formula to calculate uh, Fisher's ideal index is equal to P01 equals root of sigma P1Q0 divided by sigma P0Q0 into sigma P1Q1 divided by sigma P0Q1 into 100. So this is the formula to calculate uh, uh, formula uh, used uh, for calculating Fisher's uh, index number. Now, weighted uh, average of relative index. 
so here in this method uh, construction of uh, index number is similar to the simple average of relatives method and in respect of computation of the price relatives however to overcome the limitation of simple average of relatives method and this method uh, weighted average of relatives method is also called as family budget method and which is considered as one of the methods to construct index number consumer index uh, and the formula to calculate uh, consumer price index is that p01 is equal to sigma pw or v divided by sigma w or v uh, p means uh, price w stands for weights or uh, v can also be used uh, to represent uh, the value or weights divided by sigma w v so p means uh, price relative that that can be calculated as current year price divided by base year price into 100 now trt so in addition to the calculation of uh, index number according to uh, fisher's uh, ideal index uh, so we have to calculate uh, we have to uh, make uh, two types of uh, tests uh, uh, they are uh, trt time reversal test and uh, factor reversal test so time reversal test is satisfied when uh, uh, p01 into p10 is equal to 1 and uh, factor reversal test is satisfied when p01 into q01 is equal to sigma p1 q1 divided by sigma p0 q0 so this is about uh, the theoretical aspect of index number and uh, in my uh, next session we will see uh, problems